I'm meteorologist Mike Westendorf, and you're watching Ely TV, courtesy of BoundaryWatersRadio.com. And, of course, this is footage from our recent cold snap here in Ely, Minnesota, on January 16th, 2009, 38 below here in Ely, 40 degrees below or better in some cases around the Arrowhead. And you can see from this footage, too, we had some wind that morning. About 5 to 10 miles an hour is still enough to produce wind chills at around 55 to 60 degrees below zero. A lot of things don't work real well at those temperatures. Of course, uh, it's pretty hard for cars to start. Uh, oil is uh, more like a sludge, so it takes a long time for them to warm up. And even that is a subjective term. Uh, warm up is pretty difficult to get any kind of real heat from our cars at that temperature. Because, yes, even even the radiators experience something of a chill. Uh, the cold temperatures like this just make it hard to sustain warmth, and that's why you can't get any heat during the uh, during this kind of weather in your car. And, of course, it makes for a beautiful scene. A lot of times our coldest periods come on clear skies at the overnight, and especially in the early morning hours. Our coldest temperature is usually seen right before sunup. And here in Ely, this time of year, it's around 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning before the temperatures start to rise a little bit. There is some fun that we can kind of have with this if you're doing so carefully. And uh, as we're going to see here with Mike coming out of uh, Ely TV and BoundaryWatersRadio.com, and one of the old things, the old favorites that we enjoy doing sometimes is just watching what happens to the water when you throw it up in the air. And just amazing to see how quickly it vaporizes. You can actually hear the, the crackling of it turning into ice. Although there is one caution, and I'm, we're going to show you some video of this a bit later on. There is one caution that in that pan of hot water, not all of it simply goes and evaporates right away. Um, you're actually going to see in this video, watch comes the first one. And then also, out of nowhere, you see this other kind of jets of, of steam coming down. Well, that's actually water that is um, kind of broken away and splintered off, and, and it's now starting to evaporate. In other words, and here, watch it in slow motion. So here comes the initial, it all evaporates right away, but there's actually water, hot water. And watch right about here, you'll see it right there. Um, that's actually hot water that's also evaporating. It's kind of breaking apart. So <laughs> when you do this... Uh, throw it away from you because you can actually give yourself a, a nice face full of hot water if you're not very careful. Uh, that's what happened here in this case. Uh, coming up here, and this is, of course, Mary. Um, we kind of give her a hard time a little bit about this, but this is not how you want to throw hot water up in the air because it's going to come back down on top of you. <laughs> I, I'd like to see that again. I don't know about any of you, but I'd like to see that again in slow motion, shall we? Okay, now watch. The best part is the dance trying to get away from the hot water that is still there. Although a lot of it evaporates, not all of it does. And by the time it hits you, it's actually fairly hot. And you can then see the steam coming off of her head. So if you're going to do this, please be careful. Um, and uh, just be careful. Although we don't want to see worse video than this and seeing you in an operating room with facial surgery or something like that. Uh, Mary was okay, by the way, uh, for this. And there you can see the hot water still in her hair. Um, here at Innovative Weather, one of our jobs is to try to keep you guys safe and informed of all the weather that's going on. And you can log on to BoundaryWatersRadio.com, or you can check out InnovativeWeather.com and click on the Forecast tab, and you can get the forecasts for Ely, Minnesota. And we'll give you all the latest information, the uh, advisories, and also our audio commentary uh, based on what we feel is going to be happening. Hope you've enjoyed this. Again, stay warm and stay safe in our cold weather here in northern Minnesota.